and with deficiency, you want to tonify the mother. Okay, so that's pretty easy. With excess, you sedate. With deficiency, you tonify. Okay, so if you can um, memorize with excess, you sedate the son, and with deficiency, you tonify the mother, then the next two points are fairly easy. If you notice that this second point is always going to be a grandmother point. Okay, so one point for sedation, one point for tonification, and one of those points always has to be the grandmother point. So if you're sedating the son, then you're tonifying the grandmother, or if you're tonifying the mother, you're sedating the grandmother. Okay, um, so th this, um, what you're looking at right now, um, shows you how to get the first two points. It doesn't tell you anything about the second two points, okay? Except for, well, we won't even go into that. Let's first get to these first two points, and then we'll find the other two points. All right, so here we have a case study. Woman, age 56, presents with abdominal distension, low appetite, fatigue, feeling cold, loose stools, and a weak pulse. Okay, so um, actually let's go back for a minute. The first thing you want to do is um, decide which organ is affected or which element is affected. And then the second thing you want to do is decide if it's an excess or deficiency. So judging from these signs and symptoms, it's clear that the earth element is the one that's affected. And it's definitely a deficiency. So what we know about deficiency um, treatment principle is that you're going to tonify the mother and sedate the grandmother. Let's find these points on our chart. So here's our five element chart. And for clarity, I just, ha I just have the spleen channel up. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is locate the Harari point. That's the earth point on the earth channel for this case. So that is spleen three. Okay. So we're looking for the mother, which is one position to the left of uh, the Harari point, making that spleen 2. And we're going to tonify the mother, so we're going to tonify spleen 2. Um, for those of you um, that don't study five elements who are uh, rooted in Zonklu diagnosis, that's going to be something that's hard for you to swallow because um, spleen 2 is a um, fire point, and in most cases you would not tonify fire point. So it's very important that you suspend all your knowledge of um, acupuncture under the Zongfu um, system so you can learn the system effectively. All right, so we're tonifying the fire point uh, spleen two and we're sedating um, the wood point spleen one, right? It's because two positions to the left is the grandmother, two positions over from spleen three is spleen one and that is our grandmother point, okay? So the two points we're using, tonify spleen 2, which is the fire point, sedate spleen 1, which is the wood point, and here we have our five element chart because it's four, Korean four needle technique, so we have two more points to find. Um, so the next two points, um, actually let me go back for a minute and pull these up. There we go. Okay, so these are our first two points. We have another pair of points to find. Um, this is where most students um, sort of are unclear about where to go next. It's very easy. The second two points are always Harari points, but they are not Harari points on the affected channel. Okay, so they can, they can never be the spleen Harari point but they're Harari points off other channels. So what channels are you picking? Well, it's dependent on the elements of the first two points. So here we're tonifying spleen two. Spleen two is a fire point. So the second paired point here is going to be the Harari point of the fire channel. Okay. With spleen one, spleen one is a wood point. So its paired point is going to be the Harari point on the wood channel. Okay, let's have a look at this. We said that we were going to tonify spleen 2. It's a fire point. 
So we're going to locate the fire point on the fire channel. So the fire channel is heart and the fire point is 8. So we're going to tonify heart 8 with spleen 2. The, and then we're going to sedate the grandmother. This grandmother um, for this case is spleen 1. So we're going to sedate spleen 1. Spleen 1 is a wood point. So we're going to drop down the wood column all the way down to the wood channel. So the wood channel is liver and the wood point on um, the liver channel is liver 1. So we're going to sedate liver 1. Okay, so let's see these points again. So we're going to tonify heart 8, which is the fire channel Harari point. And we're going to sedate liver 1, which is the wood channel Harari point. So now we have all four, four points in the point prescription. We're going to tonify the mother, which is spleen 2. Um, and we're going to tonify the Harari point on the fire channel, which is heart 8. We're going to sedate the grandmother point, which is spleen 1. And spleen 1 is a wood point. So we're going to sedate the Harari point on the wood channel, which is liver 1. Okay, so let's look at one more case study just to make sure that you've got this concept. Um, and this time, our case study is a man. He's age 37. He presents with irritability, red eyes, headaches, and a rapid wiry pulse. So the two things we need to decide, what element is affected and whether it's excess or deficiency. And judging from this, with the wiry pulse, the red eyes, the irritability, headaches, um, we're definitely looking at um, a wood disharmony. And is it excess or deficiency? It's a resounding excess. So with excess, our treatment principle is sedate the son and tonify the grandmother. Okay. So here's our chart. And down at the bottom, we have the liver channel. So the first thing we're going to do is find the Harari point. The Harari point on the wood channel is liver 1. And from there, we want to find the sun point. The sun point is one position to the right, which is liver 2. So we are going to sedate liver 2. And we're going to tonify the grandmother point. So the grandmother point on the liver channel is liver 4. And we're going to sedate liver 4. So we have the first two points of our point prescription. Let's look at them again. Sedate liver 2, which is a fire point, and tonify liver 4, which is a metal point. And now, based on the element of the two points in this point prescription, we're going to go find the Harari point. Okay, So liver 2 is a fire point, so this paired um, point with liver 2 is going to be the Harari point on the fire channel. Tonify liver, we're going to tonify liver 4, and liver 4 is a metal point, and so we are going to pair that with the metal point on the metal channel, okay, the Harari point. So let's have a look at this. So here we are with our chart again. The liver is affected, it's in excess, or the wood element is affected, it's in excess, so we're going to sedate the sun, which is liver 2. And then we're going to sedate the Harari point on the fire, fire channel. So we go to fire channel, which is heart, and we look in the fire column, and we see heart 8. So we're going to sedate heart 8 and liver 2. Next, we're going to go over to the metal column, and we're going to sedate, or we're going to tonify liver 4. Liver 4 is the grandmother point. And liver 4 is a metal point, so we're going to go up the metal column until we run into the metal channel, which is the lung. And the, the metal point on the metal channel is lung 8. So we're going to sedate lung 8. Okay, so we have our points. Let's look at them again. We're using heart 8, which is the fire channel Harari point. And we're using lung 8, which is the metal channel Harari point. 
And so let's look at our four point prescription. Again, this is wood in excess, so we're going to sedate the sun, which is liver two, and liver two is a fire point. So then we're also going to sedate the horari point on the fire channel, which is heart eight. Next, we're going to tonify the grandmother, which is liver four, and then we're going to Liver four is a metal point, so we're going to tonify the Hari point on the metal channel, which is lung eight. So to recap, our steps that we're going to take to quickly come to the four needle technique. We're going to memorize the five element chart. You're going to decide if the case study you're presented with is excess or deficiency. And you're also going to decide which element is affected earth, metal, water, fire, wood. Next, you're going to apply the correct treatment principle. So if it's an excess case, you're going to sedate the sun, tonify the grandmother. If it's a deficiency case, you're going to tonify um, the mother and sedate the grandmother. And then to start locating these points, you're going to find the Harari point of the affected channel first. Then based on its position, we're going to find the mother, grandmother, or son point. So the first pair of points that we find are always going to contain one grandmother point and a son point if the case is excess or a mother point if the case is deficiency. Okay, so the first pair always has grandmother and a son if it's excess or it's going to have grandmother and mother if it's a deficiency. The second pair of points are always Harari points. Which Harari points? They're the Harari points that match the first pair of points, right? Okay, and that is it. That's the four, Korean four needle technique. So I hope that you understand this. If you don't, you can email us, info at tcmreview.com. Um, you can contact us via Facebook, TCM Review Seminars, um, or you can always call as well, 510-393-7565 if you wish. So this is TCM Review Seminars, Prepare to Pass, Your Comps, California Licensing Exam, and National Licensing Exam. All right, everyone, goodbye.